What's the saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder? That phrase certainly applies to April snowstorms. I love it. Oh, it's terrible. Guess it depends on if you have to shovel. Jeremy Hale is clearing the sidewalk in front of the brewery he owns in Hopkins. Business had been great this spring. The patio's been packed when it's been open, and now we're back to snow, so. Yes, morale is low. Matt was hoping he could take Bailey for a walk in better weather. I am so sick of the snow, I can't believe it's back again. Still, some things just need to get done. Just trying to get a little snow blowing done so I can get up in the morning and finish it off and get out of here. Problem is, the snow is expected to keep falling overnight into the morning rush hour. Sounds like school is going to be canceled for the most part. Many outstate districts have already canceled school, and districts in the metro will be keeping a close eye. One complication is that many schools have MCA state testing scheduled for Thursday. They should take the weather and the safety of their students and families into consideration first, worry about the test last. State Education Commissioner Mary Catherine Ricker says schools can offer the tests until May, so missing one day wouldn't be a huge setback. We have a lot of flexibility built into the testing calendar. After all, snow days in April aren't out of the ordinary. It seems like almost every April we, we get a little bit of a dusting. But it probably won't last long. The hope is it's going to melt really, really fast. And then back to business over the weekend. So getting back to the school closures, although some districts like Minneapolis are just going to wait and see what it looks like tomorrow morning, we're already seeing some other cancellations in the metro starting to trickle in, like Robbinsdale, for example, just announced tonight that they'll be closed tomorrow. So you may see more of that over the next several hours into the overnight hours. Back to you. All right, a lot of hopeful kids. Thank you, Danny.